Welcome to Inside Sim Racing. I'm Jessica Lopez and we have a review for you today. GameStop Car by Riza Studios, a title that we've been talking about quite often here. You would know that if you watch our Twizzers. Now this title is based off a series in Brazil, started in 1979 and uses touring cars, which are Chevrolet and Peugeots and have ethanol powered V8 engines. The sim has 10 Brazilian tracks, including the well-known Interlagos and Curitiba. Although the title doesn't offer much variation on the car side, track-wise, there's plenty. With many trackside objects and great atmospheres, a dynamic cockpit view and push-to-pass feature for a 50 horsepower boost to be used for up to eight times during a race. The tracks have dynamic bumps and a real feel plug-in has been built in for enhanced force feedback. The sim uses Image Space Incorporated, better known as ISI's G Mortar 2 engine, which is also used in a variety of other titles, such as R Factor, Arca Sim Racing, and all of the Simbin titles. Speaking of Simbin, former employee Reynaldo Simeone started Riza Studios together with Fernando Oliveira. They put together a team of modders that are some of the best in the community, others included on the Riza team, Alex Sazuk, who helps on the track end, Luke Van Camp and Alex Humler, better known as Com8, all put in work with the track creation, while Niels Husinkveld is responsible for physics and Alex Barrow does vehicle modeling. Riza's first release was Formula Armoroli and now they bring us GameStock Car. Now I'm going to pass it over to Sean and Darren who are going to tell you the pros and the cons of this game and what they think. So here they are giving you the pros and cons and putting a score on them. All right, so time for some game stock car. I guess you can call it evaluation. <laughs> or review. Yeah, yeah, that's what we usually call it. But uh, long overdue, we've had this title for quite a, probably the whole summer. Yeah. And uh, kind of glad that we waited. We've been playing with it. We've been taking some time with it. Honestly, with so many other things coming out, this title kind of took a back seat because it's an ISI based sim. Sure, or, it's like so many titles that we already yeah. have reviewed and I mean we could almost make the apology but it worked out in timing that it worked out good that we waited because we got so much more content come to this game already. Yeah. And and that's important including a patch so you've got updates to a bunch of the tracks including some new downloadable tracks that are out there and the Formula Classic which is a really fun car to drive. Speaking of which, if you guys have watched the show for a while, that car is at the top of our list as the Formula Armoroli <laughs> by Rita car that was for our factor that these guys have brought in. Now, a little education here for you guys. If you guys don't know what this is all about, ISI, or the guys that Image Space Incorporated, the guys that have made our factor, have basically licensed their engine to a bunch of different companies. Mm -hmm. Simbin, Arca guys, the Sim Factory. Mm -hmm. So this is not the first team to, like, to lease this license. Or the last, that's part of the business model for this uh, yep. game engine. So same thing's gonna be happening with War Factor 2, but this is one of the last of the Mohicans probably for that first generation engine. Oh, those Sim Raceway guys are making something too, but sure. this is like the last of the Mohicans, but seriously top notch. Yeah, and, and like you mentioned, I mean, these guys have been known as some of the best modders in the community for a very long time. And, and for me, when I see a group like this getting in and doing a full, you know, in a box sim, I'm gonna call it, I just get excited because it means as an R Factor fan, I don't have to go looking for mods and tracks. It's all built in and, and these guys are the best, so I'm thrilled. Now speaking about some of these mods, actually, they, I found all of them at Virtual R. We're gonna provide links here on our description. You gotta take a look at Virtual R because they're not all just sorted, but you just do a search for GameStock Car. Again, we're gonna have the links here in the description so you can download all the content. Vanport, which is actually Portland, and a few other tracks, two or three other tracks that they've added, plus yeah. that that Formula Car. They're adding another Formula Car called right. the, the Formula Rizzo, which is based on a Formula One. Right. So let's get into physics. We're gonna go over just uh, the core of you know what we think is a good sim racing title. Uh, or what, if you guys have watched for a while, our sim index. Mm -hmm. So just some of those categories, take a break and then go pros and cons and rev scale this uh, game stock car for you guys. So starting with physics, I don't know how these guys do it. I mean, they have really learned how to massage this suspension and these tires. And you know, one thing I gotta mention about these tires, when you're going into a corner, one of my favorite things in an open wheel car is when 
you, you're making a right turn and whichever tire's got the most load starts locking up first. Right, right. And this title, the way that they've modeled these, this physics engine and, and, these, and this tire model, you can get that tire right to that lockup point and then back it off a little bit and there's just a lot of, you know. It's play. It's it, that room you play with as a driver to really find yep. the boundaries of the car. And you know, you see it in the wheels before you, but what's even cooler when you're on the replay, you'll see little puffs of smoke coming off like the left front if you're making a, a left-hand turn. And as it gets light, a little puff of smoke as it locks up, very, very well done. Which takes us to uh, graphics. Graphics definitely uh, leave something to be desired for. This is definitely a dated engine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're not seeing some of the effects that we're seeing in like an iRacing and a, you know, even cars and, uh, R Factor 2 that's coming out. Yeah, even uh, Forza or Gran Turismo. I mean, some of the environmental effects, the reflection, some of that kind of stuff just isn't there at the same level as it is uh, you know, in this game. Still getting a good sense of speed, though, mm -hmm. and, and sense of immersion, mm -hmm. which takes us to sounds. Very immersive sounds. I mean, Absolutely. some of the best sounds in all of sim racing. Both ends, the formula, the classic formula car that they've created, uh, which is based on Ayrton Senna's car and, and the McLaren and game stock car. The, you know, the stock cars just roaring V8s. Yeah, and I, I love the sounds of those cars. I love them at idle. I love them when they're coming to life. And I especially love them coming out of the corner when you're hot on the gas and it's getting wide. And I mean, those things are nasty and, you know, 500 plus horsepower. I mean, and, and the sounds are delivered. And like you used the word, you know, immersive. It just... It's, it's one of those sensations I need to judge a great sim, and without sounds, it, it's, it's half the sim to me. So they, they did it real well. Another thing, force feedback that you force have feedback. to have in, in today's day and age for, you know, to make a good sim. Without good force feedback, you got half a sim. And, you know, back to the modding community, these guys have taken real feel and plugged it into their sim. You know, and back to what Sean talked about is having a whole package. You know, this is basically some of the best that R Factor has to offer, all wrapped up in a package. Yeah. And they're using that real feel plugin that you don't have to try to dial it in. You don't have to go download it. It's all there. You just load it. And some of the best force feedback effects uh, in sim racing. Agreed. And, and we're talking again, the old game engine, but somehow the force feedback is, is right there. I mean, everybody could learn from the force feedback. They do some of my favorite things, and that's the sensation when you're hitting like weird bumps, off camber bumps around corners, and getting that loose feel, and the twitch you get in the wheel, and you know, I'm the saw, so I mean, I'm doing this, but, but I'm doing that around the feeling in the force feedback, and that's keeping the car in control. Speaking of which, you know, I've been talking about that car a lot. If any of you guys out there are running a series in the Formula Ritza car, I want in, man, on these tracks, Portland, one of my favorite tracks from old IndyCar, two days. Man, I love love driving that. So. I was watching you drive on the gearbox ahead of you, and it, it looked like a fun, a lot of fun. Right it there. is, it is a lot of fun. So on top of that, you've got some great damage. You've got AI that's very raceable. You've got multiplayer that you know. Our factor. That's one of the things that's always been great is if you have a group to run with, its multiplayer code is great, and you know the presentation's not bad as well. So that's going to do it for our initial thoughts on the game. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to give you the pros, cons, and a final score for Game Stock Car. Open Wheeler is not just another racing seat. It is made with the input of real racing fans who know the mechanics of racing. The Open Wheeler can be used by almost anybody, from a small child to a fully grown adult. Just like the seat in a real car, Open Wheeler has a wide range of adjustable positions, just like a real car, including the angle of the seat up and back, and the pedal distance and wheel height. Open Wheeler is super light and only weighs about 50 pounds, and it's really easy to move around the house with its built-in wheels, and it folds down for easy storage.
welcome back to the show. Now it's time to go over the pros and cons. And well, I like to start with cons so we can finish with the good stuff. Sounds good. Uh, this game is a complete game. However, one thing that just kind of makes it tough for me to get into it is it's a series of cars and tracks that I'm not familiar with. And part of racing for me is emulating the cars that I want to drive. And despite being fun, you know, Formula One, those are the kind of things that I'm always thinking of. Another con for me is just the general lack of content. Uh, you have a restricted amount of tracks. Certainly there are more coming, but it is still a little light in content compared to some of the other sims out there. Uh, and then some cons for me, uh, due to the fact that it is a smaller title, on the multiplayer end, the, the lobbies are just empty. We, I went and tried to run today and there was like three people online. You know, if you have a, a set league, I highly recommend this for anybody that's got a league that wants to do some road course racing in either, you know, classic Formula One, current Formula One, you know, on these tracks or the Brazilian stock car. Uh, but it, that's where it's lacking. Mm -hmm. And graphics, I'd say, you know, they're dated. Yeah, I agree with you there. And you know, if you found a league though, and you were running in a league environment, this is actually gonna be one of the most fun sims I can think of, to yep. tell you the truth. So let's move into the pros. And for the pros, we've got, we mentioned them earlier, but I mean, the physics are, are up there with the best of any physics in the industry. And they're drivable, they're fun, they're what you'd expect, and they're their top notch. Another thing for me on the pros is absolutely the sound. Um, the sounds are vibrant, and they are the kind of sounds that aren't just there to make you be immersed in the sim, but they're allowing me to be a better sim racer by giving me the kind of cues that I expect from the sounds. Another thing that's a pro is, like we had mentioned, everything from the best of our factor is, well, for the most part, all wrapped up into one, into one package, real feel, some great tracks, great physics from, you know, some guys that have been around for a long time. Uh, so that's a, a big time pro. Absolutely. Top notch force feedback, you know, you, you really can't have a top notch sim without solid force feedback and mm -hmm. using real feel, they've got it here and like Sean mentioned, the sounds are just amazing. Yeah. And, and with that, that force feedback, it also comes down to the PC support. So being a PC type game, it works with just about any wheel you can throw at it. And last on pros, support, they're continually updating this. We're mm -hmm. seeing mods, we're seeing patches already, and these guys look like they're gonna be around for a while. So yeah. Yeah. that's great for all of us in the community. I personally would rather see a packaged up bundle like this mm -hmm. with all the tracks and cars ready to go, ready to race versus trying to download them all and find them. Yeah. Uh, not that our factor is not going to be, our factor two is not going to be great and you know, some of the other stuff out there, but I, re I really like how this is done, even with the mods out there too. Yeah, so I completely agree. So let's take it to the score. You know, we're not going to go category by category, but behind the scenes, we scored it in every category that we always do. And in the end, it came out with an 85, which I think is a, a great score, real close to what some other Sims have gotten recently, but completely different way of getting there. And kind of underrated to an extent for a hardcore sim. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at a hardcore sim, you know, I'd say it's in the 90s. You know, it really ranks up there with the best as far as physics and all that goes, multiplayer code. Yeah. Um, but if you're looking for more of a game, I'd say it's more towards the low 80s because it's, yeah. It's hardcore, man. This is, you know, high learning curve. You know, there's not really any, you know, like we had so much fun in Forza 4 with the Rivals mode. There's nothing like that. Right. You know, and, and even in Race 07, the, you know, in the time trial, they have the whole ghost time trial mode going sure. on. They don't have anything like that going on, but sure. still a great title, great first effort by Ritza. Yeah, and you're only looking at 30 bucks. They do have a demo you can play for 30 minutes. So, I mean, if you want to know what we're talking about, go download it. It's that easy. Download it, try it out. If you like it, then you can buy it. And uh, support these guys. 30 yeah. bucks, it's, it's well worth it. And this is the group. I mean, whether it's this sim or the next sim coming, you're going to be hearing a lot from Risa Studios. I agree. So that's going to do it. We'll hand it back to Jessica to finish things off. Okay, that wraps up this review of Game Stock Car by Reza Studios. And as you can tell by the way that we scored it, we obviously like this game and suggest for you to go out and add it to your sim library. It costs just right under $30 and you can get it at their website, which is game-stockcar.com.br. And they have a 30 minute trial for those of you out there that want to try it out before you decide to make that grand purchase. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that you've enjoyed this review. Make sure you comment on our YouTube page and also head on over to our website, InsideSimRacing.tv and become a member there so you can talk to us in our forums. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this review. We look forward to more from Risa Studios in the future. I'm Jessica Lopez. Check her flag is out, and so am I. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Oh, it's on you. I didn't, didn't really give you a chance to talk. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. You know, everything all wrapped up into run, wrapped up into one. Sounds good. <clears throat> Sounds good. Sounds good. Peter Brady. <laughs> We're gonna talk about. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> all right. Hey. <laughs> Hi. We did knock that out.